Let's take a look at lesson 12 in the code.org express course. And we're going to start with number one. I think we're going to go through section nine today. And then uh, it's bonus round for 10 through, I think it's 14. Um, so the first few sections go pretty quickly. And it's with the uh, while loops with the farmer. And we don't even start the while loops till we get through first the first few dots. So we're going to introduce to some new code here. Hi, I'm a farmer. I need your help to flatten the field on my farm so it's ready for planting. Move to the pile of dirt and use the remove block to remove it. Okay. So uh, we need to go forward. It looks like one, two, three, four blocks. And we're used to using these repeat blocks. So I can say I'm going forward four times. And then we need to remove the pile of dirt. That's it. We've helped the farmer and we've completed puzzle one. So let's go on to lesson 12, puzzle two. Move to the hole and fill it with six shovelfuls of dirt using the fill block. Okay, so I think we need to go forward one time and we need to fill it six times it says in the directions and there's a little six on the screen if you can see it so i'm going to put a fill in there we should be good to go all right so now we know how to use the remove dirt if there's a pile and fill a hole if there's a hole lesson th 12 while well, loops with farmer part three move to the pile of dirt and tell me how many shovelfuls to remove use as few blocks as possible. So we're going to go forward to the pile and there's a 10 there. So 10. And since it's a pile of dirt, we need to remove the dirt. Okie dokie. We did it. Now on to a video. So pause here and pause me but go ahead and watch the code.org video you can if you're following along in code.org play it from there okay so we're going to start using the while loop now uh and before we do that quiz time what do you think is going to happen this is just to take a guess looking at the code obviously we haven't used it yet so um give it your best shot Look closely at the code below. What will happen after you click run? A, nothing will happen. B, the farmer will never stop removing dirt. C, the farmer will remove dirt as long as there's a pile, then stop when the pile is gone. D, I don't know. It says when run, move forward. While there's a pile, remove. Go ahead and finish your quiz. And I think the farmer is going to remove the dirt as long as there's a pile. First step in using the while loop. All right, on to section six in lesson 12. I don't know how much dirt is in the pile. Help the farmer remove this entire pile using a while loop. Well, here's our while loop and there's a pile and we're gonna remove a pile. There's a question mark here telling us we don't know. Before we start removing stuff, we have to get to the pile. So we go forward once, drag this up there and it should go. Great, here we go again. Lesson 12 on to section number seven. Help me remove all of the dirt. All right, so this has all piles and we're gonna have to go forward and remove the dirt. Forward and remove five. Forward, remove, we don't know how much. Forward and five, forward and we don't know how much. So check this out. It looks like we could make a loop, maybe a nested loop that repeats. While there is a pile, we can remove it. Now, I think we could say remove five times, but I think if there's a pile, it'll remove. So we're going to move forward, and while there's a pile, remove it, and then do that again. So I'm going to repeat this whole process. One, two, three, four, five times. I don't really think it matters that there's a five down there. Let's check it out. 
Move the sword and gets the pile. Move the sword and gets the pile. Move the sword and gets the pile. Move forward and gets the pile. And one more time. Perfect. So it didn't really matter how many were there. When we have a while loop, it just keeps going until it's gone. All right, let's do one more together. Lesson 12, section 8. Look at all those holes. Each one needs a different amount of dirt. You can use the while loop to easily fill them all. Okay, so I'm going to go forward, fill it in, turn right. Forward, fill it in, turn left. Forward, fill it in, turn right. Forward, fill it in, turn left. Forward, turn it, fill it in, turn right. Fill it in. So it's going to be forward, right, forward, left. Forward, right, and a forward, left. That's the pattern here. Forward, right, forward, left. And in between, we need to fill it in while there is a hole. Fill it in. And after I turn left, same thing, while there is a hole. Fill it in. So that's kind of our my whole pattern that I see. And I have to do this, so forward right, forward left. That's one time, forward right, forward left, that's two times, forward right, forward, doesn't matter if we turn left at the end. Um, so that was three times, so I'm going to repeat this whole thing three times. I could be wrong, I might have too much code. Hopefully you paused and tried it yourself first. See, I'm turning and then filling it in. I guess you could fill it in and then turn. Either way. All right, so that was lesson 12, one through eight. And uh, we can do one more before the challenge puzzle. Fill in the hole at the end of each of these paths. So we're gonna have to go all the way forward, fill it in, all the way forward, fill it in, all the way forward, fill it in, all the way forward, fill it in. And um, we've got a new block of code here too. This says while path ahead. So if she's got a path ahead and it's a different length each time, uh, we want to go forward. So they didn't really tell us anything about this code, but while there's a path ahead, go ahead and walk. And then I think if I use this drop down, while there is a hole, because it looks like a hole, not a pile, I am going to fill it in. So while there's a path ahead, move forward. While there's a hole, fill it in. And well, let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have to turn left. And I will repeat this whole entire thing. I think I only need it four times, unless I'm counting wrong. So just notice when there's a shaded, like a lighter color and an arrow, you can drop down and there's other choices. So there's there's a pile, there's a hole, and there's a path ahead. There's a path, so she's going forward. There's a path, she's going forward. And then we get to the corner, there's a, a hole. So she fills it in, turns left. Oh, there's a path. She's like sensing for the path, I guess, with that flashy black thing. Fills it in, turns left, keeps on going, gets to the corner, fills it in, turns left, fills it in, and that's it. Great. Hopefully you enjoyed this um, and now feel a little bit more confident using a while loop and we're up for a challenge puzzle. So you can go ahead and um, stop here or if you want, I'll upload another video and finish the last section with you for 10, 11, 12, and 13. Great job today.